A lot of the success a player achieves in the NBA is based on how they themselves perform, but that's not entirely what makes a player excel. Not every situation is the same, and some teams provide players with certain skill sets with more of an opportunity to flourish than others. This has been a popular topic of discussion regarding players like Markel Fultz, who got moved at the deadline to the Magic and will now have less pressure to perform right away. That brings us to the topic of today's video, where we will be discussing 9 more players that, for a variety of reasons, probably need a change of scenery by going to a new team to truly thrive and maximize their potential. Before we start though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. Up first on this list of players that need a change of scenery is Terry Rozier of the Boston Celtics. Last year, when Kyrie Irving was out with an injury throughout the postseason, we saw a glimpse of what Rozier could do as a starting point guard. He almost doubled his season average for points in the postseason, going from 9 per game to 16.5 per game, and did so in electrifying fashion. For a heavily undermanned Celtics team, he showed the ability to take over a game and knock down tough shots in big moments, which played a key role in the team's series wins over the Bucks and Sixers. This year though, with Kyrie back in the starting spot, he's struggled to readjust to his role as a backup, seeing a decrease in his scoring numbers and efficiency. Most players thought that his stellar play would continue into the season, but it just hasn't. It may not seem like a big thing, but having to step back and fit into a system as a role player after previously being granted the freedom as the man can be tough, and since he's going to be a free agent this summer, he will likely be looking to go to a team that will allow him to not only start, but also run the offense and play more freely. The next player that needs a change of scenery is Brandon Ingram of the Los Angeles Lakers. Ingram's development has been a bit slower than some thought it would be, but he has made some positive strides. His scoring numbers have increased in each of his three seasons so far, as has his field goal percentage, and as a player whose main contributions come from scoring the ball, those are promising signs. However, LeBron James joined the Lakers this year, and his playstyle and Ingram's playstyles haven't quite meshed. When the two share the floor, Ingram only shoots 45%, but when LeBron's on the bench, he shoots 51%. LeBron's the kind of player that works best with shooters around him, and Ingram really doesn't shoot many threes per game, averaging less than two attempts per game, and he only shoots 30% on the ones he does take, so that clash has made the pairing a strange fit. On a new team, in a new situation away from LeBron, potentially on the Pelicans this summer in an Anthony Davis trade, he could continue to develop at his own pace. The next player that could use a change of scenery in order for him to get the recognition and respect that he deserves is Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns. Booker is only 22 years old and is in his fourth season in the league, and to this point has put up some monstrous numbers for a player his age. He's averaged over 22 points per game each of the last three years, and when looking at the total amount of points scored of players his age through NBA history, he's up there with LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Carmelo Anthony as the only players to have scored as many points as he has at his age. He's even scored 70 points in a game already in his career, which is absolutely absurd. Booker has already established himself as one of the league's best bucket getters, but the problem is that the Suns as an organization have done a dreadful job during their rebuilding process and have not surrounded him with anything close to a competent core of guys capable of competing for the playoffs. His numbers often go under the radar because of how bad his team is, and if the Suns don't speed this process up soon, Booker may request a trade to a team where he can actually play meaningful basketball in May. The next player that needs a change of scenery is Kemba Walker of the Charlotte Hornets. Walker is in a similar situation to Booker, but not nearly as bad. 
in that he's been the face of his Hornets franchise for a good six years now, and the supporting cast the team has surrounded him with has never been anything more than mediocre at best. They've only made the playoffs twice with Walker in his eight-year career, and both times they lost in the first round. Kemba himself has made each of the last three All-Star games for his ability to light up opposing defenses, so he's been holding up his end of the bargain. Luckily, he will be a free agent this summer, and I don't think there's a chance in the world he re-signs in Charlotte, so going to a team that can contend in the playoffs will likely be a priority. And if that does happen, then we will finally get to see what Kemba's capable of when surrounded by a good team. The next player that needs a change of scenery in his career is Mike Conley of the Memphis Grizzlies. Conley has seen some really good days in his Grizzlies career, including going to the Western Conference Finals in 2013, and some really low days, including suffering a bad injury last year that forced him to miss all but 12 games. Throughout his 12-year career in Memphis, he's been a steady and reliable option at the point guard position, capable of leading by example without being too flashy or loud. He's had some great individual years, but in the loaded Western Conference, he hasn't been rewarded with a single All-Star nomination. However, we have now come to the point where the Grizzlies appear to be changing the direction of their future. Acknowledging that their current core isn't going anywhere and that a rebuild might be the best option. They traded away longtime Grizzly Marcus Saul at this year's trade deadline, and this summer we might see the same thing happen with Conley. And honestly, it's probably for the best if it does happen. The next player that could use a change of scenery from their current situation is Drew Holiday of the New Orleans Pelicans. This year, there was a ton of expectations for the Pelicans after last year when they dominated the Trailblazers in the first round of the playoffs and held their own against the Warriors. Instead of building off that, though, the team has nosedived to the bottom of the conference standings, and Anthony Davis has essentially given up on them and requested a trade. Holiday, however, has been the one consistent and reliable option on the team, competing hard on a nightly basis and producing at a high level, and he deserves better. This summer, Davis will likely be traded, and the team will also probably focus on tanking to rebuild, so Holiday will hopefully be traded somewhere else as well. Honestly, the whole situation has just become a complete mess for everyone involved, and the team already fired their general manager because of how he handled the whole situation. The next player that needs a change of scenery in their career is Bradley Beal of the Washington Wizards. For the longest time, the Wizards have been John Wall's team, and Beal has been his sidekick. But over the last two years, Wall has struggled with injuries, and Beal has been given the opportunity to take control and step his game up. As a result, he's made the All-Star team in each of the last two years, and has proven that he's capable of being the man. The Wizards, however, have been an incredibly disappointing team all year long this year, and with the fact that John Wall will miss all of next season with an injury, they likely aren't going anywhere. Beal still has two more years on his contract until he's a free agent, but this summer it wouldn't surprise me if he requests a trade, because at the moment, his prime is being wasted away. The next player that could use a change of scenery for their own good is Aaron Gordon of the Orlando Magic. Gordon is one of the most underrated players in the league, yet his skill set would be valuable on literally all 30 teams. He's incredibly well-rounded, versatile on both ends, and has explosive athleticism. He's really good at a lot of things, but not necessarily great at any one particular thing, which is part of the reason why he's so underrated. All of that, along with the fact that the Magic have been complete non-factors in the league for years, makes him easy to forget about. Unfortunately for him, though, he just signed a four-year extension with the team last year, so he's stuck here for a while. Even though he could definitely use a change of scenery because I wouldn't wish playing for the Magic franchise on anyone, he seems to be the least likely to be moved in this video. Last but not least, the final player in this video that could use a change of scenery is Kevin Love of the Cleveland Cavaliers. 
Love came over from the Timberwolves in 2014 to team up with LeBron James and Kyrie Irving and try to bring home the team's first championship ever, and they did just that in 2016. However, in the present, LeBron now plays for the Lakers and Kyrie plays for the Celtics, and Love is stuck on a bottom feeder that doesn't have winning in its sights for a while. Love is still capable of being a borderline all-star stretch four that can dominate the glass on a good team when healthy, and I can imagine he will garner a lot of interest in trade talks this summer. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.